honestly, now I'm not biased. This is probably one of uh, the absolute best external cheats I've ever used. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're going to go ahead and taking a look at annex.gg's v2. Uh, we also got a brand new loader uh, looking crazy good. Kind of crazy, actually. Yeah, Nate Helper and all of this. Uh, an external cheat. In my opinion, this is probably one of, if not the best external cheat on the market today. Right. So, what do we have here? We have, first of all, we have le legit, aka the aimbots, trigger bots, recoil system. Uh, we can customize our settings for each individual weapon, as you can see. We also have a global tab, as you can see over here. This is basically settings for uh, all weapons. So one thing many people admire about this cheat, it's, it's aimbot. Uh, it is considered to be a very, very good aimbot, especially considering it's an external cheat if you ask me personally i like this aimbot more than any other internal cheat but again this could be just because i'm used to this cheat um it's my preference etc but we have aimbot enable uh let me go to rifle you have enable mouse one make sure you are setting this key to my mouse one that's my opinion that is the best key to put it at because that's when you fire and the automatic it's automatic on the aimbot because that's your aim key we have fire key. Uh, we have visible check, B spot. We have flash check. We have show FOV. We have closest hitbox. We have a custom hitbox, custom FOV, custom smooth, aim delay, aim lock time. Uh, so we still have a very fairly uh, customizable aimbot. We have a recoil control system. Um, I like setting it about 0.8 ish. Um, some people like to put it at max actually it's just how you prefer this is basically it will help you aim down on the on the enemy um so it looks legit and all of that good stuff but we also do have um trigger bots as you can say um you basically enable this you can set a custom delay if you wish to do so i don't want that you can set a custom key for the trigger bot let's say for example i'd recommend using this side mouse key you can enable flash check trigger aim uh, visible check flash check for this is basically for trigger aim uh, user recoil a custom fov for the trigger aim custom smooth and a custom hitbox a trigger bot works perfectly fine let me just go ahead and make an example right here as you can see so perfectly fine absolutely no issues at all with the trigger bots we also have trigger aim and all of that good stuff and we can customize the settings again for all weapons in the visual tab however we have players world radar um in the player tab, we have enabled preview which is this little thing we have enabled you can bind this to a key for example if you're in game and you just want to suddenly turn off your visuals you can just press that key or, uh, press that key that's one thing to do it if someone is calling you out you can um you know you can that's basically what you can do we have name esp uh, we have box esp uh, we have cornered box ESP and these little rainbow things over here is basically that you can change the color of each um, ESP. We have box fill, you can enable and change this color to anything you would personally prefer. Uh, we have override health color, armor weapon icon ESP or I mean weapon ESP, weapon icon ESP, head circle ESP, you can customize. Uh, the colors for all of this, uh, we even have sound ESP and sound time, bomb information, bomb location, dropped weapons, dropped grenades, force icons, and the radar, which is really cool in game. Uh, this is pretty sick, actually. But yeah, there's a good amount of uh, visual customi customization um, for this cheat. In the MISC tab, we have watermark. If you want to enable that, we have all watermark over what color, team check, spectator list, uh, verbose uh, spec list. If you don't know what the difference between spec list and verbose spec list is, it's basically that uh, verbose spec list, you can basically view who is spectating who. And with spectator list, you can only see who is spectating you. Um, on hit marker, you can enable and disable this with a custom color. You can also set a custom sound for the hit marker. You also have a custom crosshairs if you want to do no scopes with an AWP or a scouts. 
Um, you can enable this and do exactly however you want. You customize it to your own uh, preferences. All right, so I'm going to show you guys something really sick with the Green Helper. Let's say you're in-game. Just uh, I have a config for this. They, Annex also has a, a standard config for this. You can also make your own uh, config. But uh, for this example, I'm just going to show my config. We press on Rux. It's config. I load it. And let's say you're playing on Mirage now. All right, we're gonna go here. Nothing is good, and then we pop out a smoke, and now you start to see these little things over here. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this is. If I stand right here, it'll give me a little text. It'll tell me to aim here, and it says jump throw, as you can see under the smoke. Jump throw, and let's see where it lands. Let's see where it lands, and look at that clear. Uh, uh, stair smoke so this is very useful or for example we have another smoke from here which is kitchen you go here it says jump throw you just jump throw and it just gets it every time as you can see kitchen will blocked off when you come over here you can add your own uh, nades and molotovs it doesn't only have smokes it has Basically, all the uh, all the flashbangs, molotovs. You can do throw, jump throw, right click. You can select it. You can customize it. Max render distance. When do you want them to render? Like the the nade spots. You custom distance. You just filter them. Position name. Throw type. It's highly customizable, guys. That's really really cool, and it makes you look really legit uh, because basically you know all the nades in and out in our, on every map. As you can see, the radar over there looks very clean. Uh, you can obviously customize it to your needs. If you don't want it to show something, you can change that exactly how you prefer it. But yeah, guys, that was the nade helper. Um, in the configs tab, we have configs, basically save and create configs. Um, you can do a custom menu bind, I like the insert key, but if you have a 60% keyboard, you can do another key. Max frame rates, you don't really need to touch this, I guess. Stream proof is a good feature to have, basically if you want to stream, but you don't want anyone else to view your visuals, press this, and you guys will not be able to see the menu now, or my visuals, but I can see the menu on my screen. Um, I can see everything on my screen, actually, the visuals, the menu, but you guys cannot see anything at all. So if I just press this button again, though, as you can see, now you can see it again. If you guys don't already know, the cheat uses a kernel driver to inject the cheat, which has a crazy amount of security and making sure it's undetected. All right, guys. So in conclusion, I have to say, honestly, now I'm not biased. This is probably one of uh, the absolute best external cheats I've ever used. Everything about it is really clean. The loader, the UI, the grenade helper, the radar, the aimbot, the visuals, everything about it is perfect. Everything about it is really great and I really like it. If you guys do have any tips or any um, any suggestions uh, to the Annex team, feel free to leave them in the Discord or in the support ticket. Uh, so we're constantly looking out for bugs and uh, new features to add to the cheats. Anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. And please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel, do all of that good stuff if you guys did. If you guys are interested in buying the cheats, you guys can use my code ROX to save yourself 15% off the purchase. Anyway, guys, my name is ROX and I'm out. Peace.